So there's a new FPS in town, and I'm pretty sure you all heard about it. I just call Halo Infinite. So in today's video, I want to talk about, I want to give my opinions and my thoughts and why I feel like Halo will not succeed. So before getting into this video, I want to just totally explain this, make it clear to all of you that I'll be solely talking about the multiplayer and not the camping. I haven't played the camping yet, and I don't know the experience of campaign, but it'll be pretty much similar, to be honest with you. It'll be really similar, but it's just campaign. And these are just my thoughts, these are just my opinions. You guys can have totally different opinions, totally different thoughts from me, and it's totally fine. Okay? Don't go off crazy in the comments. Just leave your opinions, just leave your thoughts, and I will read them, and I might agree with them. You might be wrong, you might be right, and I might be wrong. Who knows? So yeah, let's get into the video on why I feel like Halo Infinite will not succeed. And I'm going to be stating everything point-wise. So yeah, let's start. The first point being is that the time to kill in Halo is really, really high compared to other FPS like Apex or Valorant, where the time to kill is really low. The time to kill in uh, Halo is like 2 or 3 seconds, whereas in Apex or in Val, the time to kill is like a second, or a actually in a valve, it's like a millisecond. You get a headshot and you get a kill. That's it. So, I, uh, in, in the past, I've played quite a lot of games which had a really high time to kill. Like, for example, Spellbreak. It was a battle royale with a really high time to kill. But that's what made the game not fun, not enjoyable. And that's why I created it. But the concept of Spellbreak was really fun. I love that game. Only if the game had like low time to kill, I feel like the game would have succeeded quite a lot. So yeah, it is one of the things why I feel like, it's one of the reasons why I feel like this game might not last in the FPS market, but who knows, I might be wrong, let's see. The second point being is that the movement in Halo kind of feels clunky compared to other FPS uh, like Call of Duty Warzone, even Battlefield 2042, or Apex which is known for its movement, or Valorant, like the movement in those games are really smooth. For example, if you take Apex, the slide jumping is really smooth uh, if I try to do it. It's really easy and literally even a simple beginner player who just start playing Apex like uh, a second uh, later, even he can do it. But that doesn't apply for Halo. I tried to do slide jump a lot of times, but I mean, I was shocked to see that I failed because I mean, I come from movement shooters, I come from Titanfall, I come from Apex, and a lot of movement shooters. And I was shocked to see I could do a simple slide jump in Halo. So, this is my personal issue on why I think uh, the, this game might not succeed. That the movement is kind of clunky. It doesn't. It's not as smooth as compared to other FPS games. So, I mean, it's my personal reason. Let's move on to the third reason. I feel like the third reason every veteran player will agree with the third reason is that there's nothing new in Halo Infinite except for the battle rifle. All the maps are the same, everything is the same, pretty much every single thing is the same, except for one gun. So if there's not much content in like if you can't put more if you can't put more content in your game, then I don't think it's gonna survive because other games could put content every other week. And if you and if you're not gonna do that, I don't think your game is gonna survive for long, to be honest with you. So this is the third reason why I feel Halo will not succeed. And let's go to the fourth reason. Let's see. Yeah, but let's just stop it here. These are all just my thoughts. These are all just my opinions. Your opinions can totally differ from me and it's totally fine. Don't be hateful to me, please. Let's move to the fourth reason. The fourth reason is something if you played Halo ranking, if you played Halo rank, I feel like you'd agree with me 100%. It's that the game doesn't feel grindy enough. Like I had friends who achieved Diamond 4 in just a day. And the highest rank is Onyx, which is just one rank higher than Diamond 4. And they said they could each easily achieve Onyx. Like other games, for example, Valorant, the game is super freaking grindy. It's really grindy. But that doesn't apply to Halo. It's not grindy enough for me to enjoy it. Like, if the game is not grindy, if you can easily achieve what you, you want to achieve, then I don't think there's gonna, it's going to last a lot in the, new, in the FPS market, to be honest with you. The fifth reason is that the game doesn't have a big sense of reward. Like, if you compare it to other uh, games like Apex, take Apex, Apex for example, mainly Apex, if you, you take even Valorant or Call of Duty Warzone, but if you take Apex for example, 
like the sense of reward is really high in Apex. Like if you win a game in Apex, just even just uh, not not a game, right? If you even just win a pop game in Apex, the sense of reward is really high. But that doesn't go for Halo. I mean, I took a battle royale for example. Let's take Valorant for example. It's a five v five shooter, just like Halo. But Valorant is tactical, and this is not tactical. But even in Valorant, the sense of reward is a lot higher. It's like I feel happy when I win a game. That doesn't go for Halo. It's like, if I win a game, yeah, man, it's okay. It's starting to be great. I mean, I'm not that happy. But if the same thing happens in Val, it's the opposite. Like, you actually get a sense of satisfaction, a sense of, like, happiness. That doesn't apply to Halo. The sixth reason, I couldn't find a legit proof or something like that. Anyway, but I feel like the server tick rate of uh, Halo is kind of low compared to it's. I feel like the server tick rate of uh, Halo is really low because the lowest server tick rate game I've played is Apex, which has a server tick rate of 21. And sometimes that really messes, up, messes things up. And after playing Halo, I feel like the server tick rate of Halo is even low because, like, if I switch a gun, it takes a, it takes a solid second before the gun actually switches. But to, that doesn't go for any other game. I feel like they should actually put out somewhere that what's the server tick rate of this game that will really help people. Because I think the server tick rate of this game is lower than even Apex. So those were the, so those were the points in which I think why I feel like Halo will not succeed. You guys can put a different thoughts for me. Just uh, leave your thoughts, to leave your comments down below. And I'll surely read them and I'll surely, I mean, reply to them, of course. And maybe you guys could be right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this game will survive. But who knows? We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, have a good one. And peace out.